I have my new medication. Do you feel comfortable or do you want Dabbing to? Dabbing you? I always feel comfortable. But she's like, I'm looking forward to this. First? That I get to be stabbed with. Do you feel anything? Yeah, I feel pain. Pain? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Same or worse than you are? Worse. So guys, today's gonna be a Crohn's disease vlog. I have my new medication that I get to be stabbed with. Yes. If you guys haven't checked out yesterday's vlog, please go ahead and do so so you can better understand what today's vlog is about. And I had two doctor's appointments, we have so many different things to do, it is insane, but we're getting everything done and I went to the dermatologist and now I have to go get stabbed with my new medication, which is Stellara. For those of you who do not know who are new to the channel, I have Crohn's disease. I was taking a medication called Remicade for years. I developed anaphylaxis reactions to it, so you can't breathe, your throat starts closing up. That ain't fun. So I had to get off of it, I had to go to a specialized GI, and this is where this medication comes into play. guys so we have switched it over to the car because we're running a little bit late for our appointment you took my meds right <laughs> yes it's in my book oh, okay. i oh, always okay. have it i'm always prepared boo -boo. don't worry so like paul says we are on his way to his gi specialist now for those of you wondering wait you have the injection in your hand why are you going to the doctor's office? This is a brand new medication that I have never taken. Yeah. And I've never done the self-injection pen. We did the Humera one, but this is a completely different pen. So the first time was the infusion, which we did a vlog on that as well. This time is the, from here on out, it's an injection every eight weeks, which is super convenient. I gotta yeah. do six of these a year. I love that. Yeah, so we're gonna go to the doctor's office. His medical assistant is going to be waiting for us, and she's just going to show us how to use the pen right quick, and in and out, done. Yeah, show me how to do it. Now, I do feel confident stabbing Paul, because it's like the only thing that brings me joy to my life. They said it was the same as Humera, but I will not lie, you could tell the concern in Paul's voice that he, you know, has a little anxiety from all his past medication reactions, so he wants to make sure everything is mm -hmm. right to the T and perfection. There is nothing wrong with that, guys. Because you know why? It's your body. He has gone through, you know, kind of a trauma that most people don't go through, and yeah. it is nerve-wracking. Yeah. So he just wants to make sure everything is perfect. There's not going to be any side effects. He has nothing to worry about. All you healthy people out there, let me uh, remind you. When you go through something so nerve-wracking as anaphylactic shock or a near-death experience, it really changes you. And you kind of prep a lot better for it. So some of you viewers, healthy viewers, may be like, huh, you're exaggerating. He is not. Well, when you're in an infusion center and uh, you go, I can't breathe. I can't. Like, you can't take a breath, and then out of nowhere, all the nurses, oh shit, and they start running, grabbing bags and stuff like that, and they have to use rescue meds on you. Yeah, that's not fun. Did it help was when, after this episode occurred, the doctor who is, you know, she's, in she's a nurse practitioner. Oh, well, the nurse practitioner who's yeah. in charge of the infusion center kind of just made it Paul's fault. Yeah, she's like, yeah, you're not allowed to come back here for this infusion anymore. And made it seem like he was just a liability and kind of doing it to himself. And he was not. Paul was not happy after the way she was talking to him after this reaction happened. Yeah. He was like, excuse me. He was snapping. I was pissed. And I will not lie, she confused me because of her body language. She was smiling this whole time, like, no, you can't come back. So I was just lost. I was like, what's going on? It doesn't yeah. match up. Her facial expressions don't match up with what she's saying. And that got me. So we're pulling into the parking garage and Paul with his glove. He's like, not today, Rona. Look at that, you didn't have to touch anything. That works for me. Not today. 
See, they're being accommodating to your interesting needs. It is really dark in here. It is. Can you get my glare glasses? I got you. before right so you yes. guys are kind of used to injecting yeah. it's just the actual syringe that you kind of want to double check yeah okay. okay now did you want to do it to him i can walk you through it it's all your choice do you feel comfortable or do you want stabbing to you i always feel comfortable no, she's like i'm looking forward to this first. all right so what do you think about the abdomen that's right to the humor okay yeah know, that's always the easiest yeah. and then, then i'm sure you guys know to rotate the quadrants right nope okay not so pretty much that. you bless the belly button Got and then it. just do one here one here one here one here okay, you just kind of rotate i like how she said bless it bless the belly button some holy water in your tummy so go ahead have a seat now, how do you feel the most relaxed, sitting or laying? So it just depends. I always go really slow just because I feel like that hurts less, but some people like to just go fast and get it over with. Yep. But there's like a little shield that as soon as it'll kind of like uh, push back on the skin when it's completely injected. Sure. Okay, so it's like, you know, you're getting every little, every She's little bit. She's doing it, so as long as she knows. Of course. You okay. want me to hold your hand? Yes. Oh all right, gosh. so I'm just going to expose the belly. That's all right, really so you literally bellas the belly button and you pick one of those quadrants, okay? Wow, that looks really soft. <laughs> it looks little, very little. Oh, it looks very cool. little baby it's shot. Really oh, so it's so you that's actually really push cool. it in. So yeah. it's not like the Humera one that's like all self-contained. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I feel like I'm not. Because the Humera, you just push a button and it's slow like with like a... With a so yeah, you do have to push it in, so it's going to be slow, fast, whatever. I'll do it slow, you see how you feel, okay? Yeah. So, so this just... Should I feel anything? I mean, you might feel like a little poke. Oh, besides the poke. You know? Yeah. 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 No. You're you fine. Alright, coming straight off. And then... Fun! I always make sure the bezel is up. So do you see that little bezel part? Yes. So you exactly. want to make sure that's facing up, okay? Gonna grab belly, mm -hmm. gonna do this. Alright, you ready, Paul? Yep. All right, you're gonna go to a 45 degree angle, so just into that little bezel then. Okay. okay. How deep do I go in? Oh my god. Just to the bezel then. Okay. And then you're just gonna slowly inject. Do you feel anything? Yeah, I feel pain. Pain? Yeah, a little bit. Same or worse than you are? Worse. Worse. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll and then see that. how it goes up. Yeah. Okay? So that's it. Um, are you pro band aid or no? Yeah. It's gonna be whether you wanna take it off the hair or not. If, if I'm bleeding, sure. No, not bleeding. Nah, he's fine. Yeah, I'm good. If not, you okay? Okay. Yeah, so that was it, okay? okay? And if you guys, do you have a sharps container? Yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. Do you saw that? I say coffee can, if not. Oh, I didn't know. Do you feel okay, lightheaded at all? Not right now. All right. There you go. So a couple things for you. So, so if you have any issues, here's a little savings card. Try that. What's funny Perfect. is normally Blue Cross Blue Shield is the hardest one to get it approved through. So if you have no problems with that, well, like that's actually a good time. Good. With all the Crohn's and everything I've taken that's before, that's why they don't, they don't give me much kickback. Now for Remicade, when I first started that one, it took nine months. Oh, yeah. that's fun. And You're probably like flaring and feeling. Yeah, that, I was like We 15. had to go to the ER. Uh, I was, I was 15. Lot. I had to come here to the, the POPs unit over there for the infusion. And I wrapped up a bill of about 700 grand. It's so yeah. easy to do in it's so sad. A little, this is just a little practice. Perfect. Okay, if you want to just take it home and kind of mess with it until I it's would, comfortable, you know? Yeah. No active needle. Oh, <laughs> oh you're lucky. I would have been like, oh, She can't wake yeah. up in the middle of the night with it. <laughs> oh my God, that's yeah, so surprisingly, cool. so, right? I got you. Okay, um, oh. questions, comments, no, I'm, nothing? I'm so excited okay. to stab them. I have so much happiness. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, so. I got my Stellara injection done, happily. I did started feeling a little lightheaded and dizzy, which the nurse said it's perfectly normal. It's not a big deal, just take it easy. You know, we go into the doctor's office, I lay flat, they gave me the medication, I was just laying there for a second. I don't feel really any other side effects per se. Like, I feel a little tired, but I don't know, that could just be me. Well, you did get a full dose. The last time you did it, you got it infused throughout an hour so uh, this yeah. could be hitting you differently and it's not a big deal you just take yeah 
I don't understand. Maybe, like, I, was, I, I forgot to ask that. I was going to be like, can I just do this at an infusion center? Like, I'm perfectly fine having to come once every eight weeks to do this infusion. Because it was super seamless, no big deal, and it's a lot safer than Remicade. So Janice is driving, because like I said, I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. Like, there's a bridge in the building that we were crossing, and I literally started, like, feeling the bridge, like, moving. I had to grab onto him. And I was like, babe, is the bridge moving or is it just me? She just looks at me and goes, it's just you. I'm gonna take it easy. Janice is gonna drive and uh, this is why we make a great team because when one of us starts going downhill, the other one can kind of pick it back up. The Stellara trainer pen. So really fast. This is what it looks like. It's like an actual little syringe. Obviously this does not have a needle. But what you would do, clean the area, take the cap off, you have the needle, you like pinch the skin, right? Yeah, pinch 45 it. degree angle, you stab it in, and then all you do is slowly push in the medication. So it's not like spring loader or anything, bup, 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 bup. you get to the tip, push in, boom, needle goes in, it's nice and safe, you pull it away, you're done. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this crazy adventure of me with my Crohn's disease. For those of you who do not know, it is really hard to live with this. Genuinely, it, it sucks. Is. And the different medications you have to take, and this is this is my life. I've been doing this since I was 16. We're gonna keep moving forward, we're gonna keep our head up, and keep going. Do not forget, guys, to check out the description below. You will find links to a plethora of different things. Our merch store, yes, we have merch go on there. We do have sales occasionally from Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and at some point in December, we will be doing a Christmas sale as well. These are only one day sales, so stay tuned and make sure you take advantage of those sales. Another thing is going to be for our Instagram. Orion's Instagram more like it so you can see a service dog journey from when he was a wee little pup as well as our patreon Patreon is another social media platform that we use that we give exclusive behind-the-scenes content of us the raw life family another thing is Twitch this is where we let loose guys because whenever we do these vlogs we have to portray a message so that you understand it Twitch we just let loose we have fun we play video games and just be able to, you know, woosaw and get away from the problems of the world and enjoy the moment and just have some fun with everybody. So guys, this is going to be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. It truly means a lot to us. It really helps our channel grow and we just want to spread as much awareness as possible. So guys, this is where we end it. We're going to take it easy. As you guys saw, the Stolero shot did take a lot out of Paul. Oh, and we're going to woosaw and munch a little and relax. So guys, for now, adieu and goodbyes to our next adventure.